go. Is that the Shem Mincha is going to be 7.20? Please be on time. The halacha that uh, we mentioned briefly a few days ago is that when a person says, he's no longer allowed to interrupt. He has to straight, right away, eat from the bread uh, without interruption. As a matter of fact, if he interrupts and it's something that uh, is not connected to the meal, so then he would even have to go back. But even in a situation where it is connected to the meal, he's not allowed to make an interruption. Uh, one of the very common mistakes people make is after they say amotzi, especially on Shabbat, when you have uh, a lot of people around the table, they cut the bread for everyone, and then after they cut everything for everyone, then they taste from the bread. The, the reason that's a mistake is even though that's something that is connected to the meal, but like we said, if you said the first thing you have to do is you have to taste yourself. After you taste it, then you can cut the bread and, and distribute it to everyone else, but not to distribute and then go ahead and take and, and, uh, and eat from it because that would constitute a sort of hifsik, a sort of a problem of, of uh, interrupting between the bracha and the tasting. Uh, which, although wouldn't require you to go back, it's not preferred, it's not the right way of doing things. And therefore, the proper way to do it is to taste, and then to cut for the rest of the people and distribute to them as well. Amen. Amen.